Chris Henry with it from the Daily Telegraph. I mean, the, the chapter that really jumps out from a footballing perspective is, is about Roy Keane. I mean, pretty frank and, and pretty brutal at times. Do, do you envisage him responding in any way, given the nature of the man, who then actually worry you? Well, I think you're right. The nature of the man will, will you know, you, you, you can expect that. And that is the type of personality Roy is. But, you know, that the decision, the reason I had to explain it because it happened so quickly, but his actions were so quick. For one reason or another, he decided to go and criticise his teammates. And so most of you have not seen that video, but you couldn't release it. You couldn't release it. Ended up with uh, two of the young players being booed before the game in, in, in Paris on the Wednesday. And uh, we, we, we decided we, we had to do something. Uh, the meeting in the, in the room was, you know, was, was horrendous, you know, that, and we just, I just couldn't lose my control in this particular situation. And if I had a, let it pass and allowed it happen, I think the players would have viewed me differently, much different, more, more differently than I would have liked to have been judged. And I think that uh, throughout my career, uh, I think I, I've been strong enough to deal with important issues like that. We, for Roy, he, he overstepped his mark, absolutely overstepped his mark, and there was no other thing we could do. We, we did well by them. We paid up his whole contract. We gave him a testimony in the, in the, in the, the following season, 75,000. We did everything we could to honour the fact he was a great player for us. Um, sorry, I was just wired from the Telegraph. Uh, there's an anecdote in the book uh, where you have Patrice Evra taking the mickey out of you for picking once uh, William Prunier. Would, the, would that have happened uh, earlier on in your career? Or is that a mark of 